Several things have been going on with the Pilot Flying J with lots of activity and some viewer submitted activity. So let's go ahead and get into what's new. First off, I'd like to start with stations in the state of Wisconsin. We have three station drive-bys provided by a viewer from a company called Parker Street Productions and Wisconsin's EV YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and go to those. It's nice to see viewer submitted uh, site visits. And just so everyone knows, all the site visit videos that are listed in the full data tables at the end of this um, video are linked down below in the description as well. So feel free to support the other YouTubers who are out there uh, videoing these very photogenic stations. <clears throat> now on to the update. I noticed that these stations started to be listed with a new plug share network. Originally, it was Pilot Flying J Charging Network in kind of a long form. It's since been abbreviated just in the past few days as Pilot Flying J. And it's not selectable now, but I'm thinking it will be in the not too distant future. So that's kind of cool. Finally grown up. <clears throat> progress over time continues to see steady progress instead of these um, spikes and valleys. Uh, so that's encouraging to see. We're still making good steady progress. The map of coming soon by the end of 2024, <coughs> excuse me, is um, a good reference point. The map on the EVgo website remains unchanged as Q4 2024 when they update that. I think I'll start using that one instead just to have more plot points to go by. 
And the states that are done is unchanged. However, several states are starting to get close, specifically New Mexico, Missouri, Illinois is getting really close. The state of Mississippi, surprisingly, is now coming on very strong. And what else was there? Virginia is done. Um, Alabama's done. Which is the other one that I saw that was getting ready? Oklahoma is getting close to be completed as well. Okay. I don't know why I went back. Okay, new this update. Hey, Ty, Missouri, down here, the little nook of Missouri, open. Meridian, Mississippi, down over here, is now open. That's a really important station. New Albany, Mississippi, up here, spotted under construction. Albuquerque, New Mexico, right here, and Jamestown, New Mexico, both open. Both of those are canopy locations. Tehachapi, California, constitutes the fourth one in the state of California that is now open. Fremont, Indiana, up here, spotted under construction, that is a canopy site. Denham Springs, Louisiana, also is a canopy site, and it looks like it's on Interstate 10 because it's continuing along here, but actually Interstate 10 dips down and then comes back up again. This is actually on Interstate 12. Winona, Mississippi, um, spotted under construction. I'm sorry, so New Albany was up here. I uh, misnoted that. So New Albany open, Meridian open. And Winona, Mississippi, spotted under construction. Erie, Pennsylvania, which is the last one in the state of Pennsylvania, and then it'll go into the completed uh, column, has now been spotted under construction. And Rio Rico, Arizona, spotted under construction, down here near the Mexican border. This is what new this update looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. The pricing has been a little bit problematic. When I went through and I did do every single location and got this information, every time there was a price change, it was going up with the exception of one location went down by a nickel, but every other one, and there was quite a few that went up and our average price is now at 57.2 cents per kilowatt hour for the network. And that kind of surprised me. It only went up that little because many stations, I would say maybe at least 10% of the stations increased in price, which was a little concerning as I was going through it. But when you average it out, I guess 57 cents per kilowatt hour is not horrible still, but we're going to definitely keep an eye on that. The highest price and lowest price remains unchanged, so they're staying inside those swim lanes. We are at 160 sites open, 31 spotted under construction. The pattern of the central time zone continuing to click up closer to taking first place is continuing. As you can see, the number of sites spotted under construction is much higher than the number of sites spotted under construction in the Eastern time zone. So it looks like invariably the central time zone will supersede the East. Texas remains on top. California is now on the list with four open. And Interstate 75 is starting to creep up. Interstate 90 also is starting to creep up, which is nice because the western portions of the country through 90 and um, Wisconsin and Minnesota, that's all encouraging to see. That's the update for this time. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that has all the canopy locations open and spotted under construction, as well as the full data tables. Thanks for watching.